Hi, this is a quick unboxing video of the Flysky FS i6s transmitter from Mega.com. Uh, according to the specification, it has 10 channels and the uh, range should be around one kilometer. It comes also with a touch screen and you have also a six channel trans a, a receiver inside. So let's open it up and see what we have here. The box came almost undamaged, which is good. It took about two and a half weeks to arrive to Israel. So we have, of course, the transmitter itself. There is no antenna attached, so it's pretty, it's pretty slick design. You have a trainer port and you have a USB port, which you can use probably to upload firmware and use it also for controlling a simulator, flight simulator. We have two, uh, two mode switch, two position switch, sorry. We have another two, three position switch. We have this compartment for the batteries and we have another two buttons here. And we have a nice handle, aluminum handle, I think. And we have here, this rotation dials here and here as well. Oh, in addition, you have the receiver, six channel, FSIA6B, the six, six channels receiver. We have also a USB cable, and we have also this accessory that helps you mount a screen. So if you want to use another screen for FPV or you want to use a, a smartphone to display data from a, any device, like a telemetry data, sorry. So you can use this. So basically what you need to do, just open this screw here and then you have to go like that. And you screw this one here as well. And now it's safely fastened and you can use it to just put your smartphone here. And it opens so you can actually put a tablet as well. Okay, so I went ahead and inserted the batteries. It has, you have to put four AA batteries inside. And let's turn this thing on. Now one thing in order to turn it on, don't pray, you have to press both buttons for about two seconds. Then it starts and that's it. We can see we have two timers here. Everything here is a touch screen. So just make sure sometimes you don't see a scroll bar. So we have just to go like that and scroll it over. A, we have here this screen we can see the channels right now it's configured only for four channels but you do have 10 channels options so this is a 10 channels transmitter and we have in this one we have here I'm actually not sure what it is okay so let's see if you want to uh, configure the auxiliary channels you go just go to auxiliary channels and you can select Let's see, let's, we want the key for example. These are configured are uh, key one and key two. So go, just go back and press the back button. Are you sure? And are you sure? Yes, it's actually safe and no, it's discard. Yes, and we can see when I go here, when I press this button, now it changes. That's it, I'm not gonna show you all the configuration, but I'm sure probably you're gonna figure it out. It's not a complicated uh, transmitter. So if you're looking for a cheap transmitter to give you a one kilometer range and uh, has pretty nice uh, design, I think probably this is a remote for you. So it doesn't cost $250 like the Terranist. One more thing you have to address is this stick. It's self self-centering, the throttle stick if you're using mode two. Uh, for racers, 
I'm not sure if it's such a good thing, but there is a mod in the market that you just have to open uh, the remote and you just can, we can just remove the gimbal and it won't auto center. That's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe.